brother and sister together will make it through. Oh, oh yeah. Someday a spirit will take you and guide you there. I know you've been hurting, but I've been waiting to be there for you. And I'll be there just helping you out whenever I can. All right, so first question, um, favorite elementary grade? Probably sixth grade, just because um, I love Coach Harmon. It would be sixth grade with Coach Harmon. Fourth grade with Miss Burdick. My favorite grade in elementary school was fourth grade. Well, second grade, shout out to Miss Piquel. Third grade. Probably fifth grade with Miss Cuneo. Probably have to be sixth grade. It was second grade. Probably TK. Definitely sixth grade with Coach Harmon. Fourth grade, hands down. Be uh, TK. That's kind of a cop out answer, but it was the best. Like we had a whole day dedicated to eating waffles. Probably sixth grade because I pretty much became myself and I wasn't afraid of being myself anymore. In fifth grade, we got to go on the Washington DC trip. That was cool. Would probably have to be sixth grade even though I almost died choking on a, on a water bottle cap. Third grade, Miss Hutchinson's class. And having not gone to Briarwood for elementary school was probably sixth grade. Miss Smith. Fifth grade. Was sixth grade in Coach Harmon's class. Probably be sixth grade. Um, one, because I had my dad and two, um, you know, I just, I was the Uno queen. Fifth grade was sixth grade. Sixth grade, fifth or sixth grade. Yeah, those were fun years. <laughs> it was third grade with Miss Lieb. Had to be sixth grade. It was just fun. I looked my best in fourth grade. I was probably sixth. Probably my fourth grade class with Miss Coonan. It would have to be fourth grade. Um, with Miss Sheffield. Would have to be fifth grade because the Washington DC trip. From all of my Briarwood is K4. My favorite elementary grade was sixth grade. Mine was kindergarten. Mine was sixth grade, left Camp Cosby. My favorite elementary grade was fourth grade. Fifth grade with Miss Griffin. Probably um, fourth grade. Fifth grade, shout out to Miss Bird was fifth grade because I have so many great memories from the Washington DC trip. Fifth grade because we got to go on the Washington DC trip and that was really fun. Third grade. Uh, sixth grade, Miss Burdis class is probably my favorite grade. Favorite of the two was definitely sixth grade with Miss Butler. 100% B sixth grade with Miss Reed. K5 with Miss Ketchum. My favorite upper school grade would definitely have to be this year. Even though it was cut a lot shorter than most of us thought it would, it was still my favorite. My favorite grade was senior year. Mine was either freshman or senior. Mine was senior year. 10th grade? Probably junior year. I just had so much fun. Uh, sophomore year. Probably 11th grade. Definitely senior year. Honestly, all of them. But I can tell you that senior year was definitely the most unique. 12th grade, hand down again. Definitely 10th grade because that's when I gained all my closest friends. Um, I definitely think senior year. My favorite upper school grade was definitely senior year. 10th grade for sure. Probably ninth grade. I would say junior year. My favorite grade was either 11th or 12th grade. Probably 11th grade. Uh, it's definitely the senior year. My favorite upper school grade has to be senior year. Easily 12th grade. Mm -hmm. Mine too. Senior year was definitely my favorite upper school grade. Definitely been just this year and senior year in general. It has been this year, my senior year. Sadly, it got cut short. Sophomore year. It's been senior year, even though it didn't end the way we all hoped it would. Probably 10th grade or 11th grade. Yeah, 10th grade. Definitely senior year. It was either 7th grade or this year. Probably senior year. Would have been junior year. 12th grade minus the quarantine. Definitely 11th grade. It is definitely senior year. Probably a tie between 10th and 12th. My favorite upper school year was junior year. 10th grade. Definitely have to be this year, senior year. It'd be senior year, or what we had at senior year. It's probably this year. Even though this cut short, we have to say senior year for sure. My favorite upper school grade was 12th grade. By far 12th grade. It was 12th grade. Uh, senior year. 
My favorite class, hands down, last year, six period AP Chem with Miss Dirks. Echoes of Eden with the Conrads. It would be history with Coach Marge. Bible class and um, Mr. Conrad. It's English with Miss Presley. My favorite teacher was Miss Whaley, and my favorite class was seventh grade Bible with Mr. Wallace. AP Stats, um, Coach Richie, because I had him for a, a really long time, and he was just a super funny guy. My favorite class and teacher will probably be both Mr. Wilson. It's probably um, Honors Dual Enrollment History with Mr. Albritton. Junior Bible with Mr. Conrad. My favorite teacher was Mr. Wilson, and my favorite class was freshman physics. Is a push, and my favorite teacher is Miss Dirks or Miss Wilson. So definitely Miss Youngblood. Show choir, um, which would involve Miss Mixon and Mr. Gaines. Honors English 11 with Mr. Carter. And it's Miss Angus and Mr. Conrad, and every class that they teach. The uh, freshman year physics with Mrs. Angus. I love Miss Presley and Miss Youngblood and Mr. Wilson a lot, and my favorite. Class has to be art. Bible with Dr. Conrad. Hey, either Mr. Conrad, Coach Ritchie, Miss Dirks, or Miss Mixon. It's definitely either Mr. Conrad or Miss um, Mixon and Mr. Gaines for choir. My class, probably 10th grade, good drop, that was fun. Definitely Mr. Conrad's class. AP Chemistry, and my favorite teacher is Miss Dirks. It was speech, and my favorite teacher was definitely Coach Ritchie. In elementary school, it was Coach Harmon, and then in high school, there's been Miss Finch and Mr. Seabury, Miss Tedder, and Coach Curley, and several others. So, I mean, any class with Marjean has got to be the favorite. Would probably be Miss Coling. It was either Marge's history class or Miss Conrad's English class. A sophomore year history with Coach Marjean. It's probably AP Chemistry, and my favorite teacher was Miss Dirks. Lunch and Miss Patco. My mom's Miss Dirks and AP Chem. Sixth period AP Chem last year with Ms. Dirks. Mr. Bautista, um, fourth period anatomy senior year. AP Chemistry with Ms. Dirks last year. Actually anatomy from sixth period this year, and my favorite teacher is Bautista from that class. AP Calculus with Ms. Martin. It's 11th grade, sixth period with Dr. Albright. Video production, and my favorite teacher was Mr. Carter. AP Stats, junior year, and my favorite teacher was Ms. Dirks. Bible with Mr. Conrad. Definitely tied between Bow's fourth period anatomy class and Miss Wilson's sixth period econ class. Junior year, Coach Rob's second period history class. So you're definitely Mr. Gaines. Both chemistries with Miss Dirks. Mr. Snipes, ninth grade Bible. B show choir, I've been Mr. Gaines and Miss Mixon. It's probably 11th grade with Mr. Wilson in English. What teacher or activity do you wish you had participated in? I wish I'd been part of the Echoes of Eden's class. Which I had gotten to have Miss Presley as a teacher. Probably Echoes of Eden with the Conrads. Probably pole vaulting because it sounds really fun. I really wish at some point in high school I had Mr. Wilson. Um, I missed out on his class. And also I wish I had played baseball. I definitely wish I would have taken all dual enrollment instead of AP classes. Honestly, I wish I had done a musical. It'd probably be Dr. Auburn. Art class with uh, Miss Youngblood. Echoes of Eden. Echoes of Eden with the Conrads. I wish I had Dr. Crandall. Tennis with Coach Rich. I wish I had gone to prom. It is the Billy Joel review. Cross country with Marge. Uh, documentaries with Mr. Heron. Play um, or participated in show choir. I did lacrosse, but I wish I did it longer. I wish I had been a part of the Billy Joel review. Like, I wish I had participated in one of the plays or musicals. Uh, I wish I had gotten to experience Marge's class. Probably football. Uh, probably Coach Forrester, like Lion's Head Media or something. I wish I had had Miss Jerks. Uh, basketball or track. I'd say the cross. Definitely Marge. One thing I wish I would have taken would be art. I wish I could have had Coach Rob. I wish I had participated in a musical or a play. I really wish I was able to take Lion's Head Media. And it's track. I wish I'd done Echoes with the Conrads. My favorite broad moment would definitely have to be the St. Clair County playoff game. Um, when we beat Ramsey by one point. <laughs> was homecoming senior year. Sophomore year when we made it to state. It was in 10th grade when we went to state. Favorite thing was Figgler on the roof in junior year. Senior homecoming week. The Is He Worthy Christmas show. Um, getting cast as Dolly in Hello Dolly. Is um, when we beat Ramsey senior year after we blocked a field goal as time expired. Football seasons and Friday night cheering. 
winning the Ramsey game this year? All the worship nights. Um, be winning Grand Champs and Choir twice at Opelika. And just getting to perform with my friends, whether that's dance team or show choir or musicals in place. Uh, Chelsea game, I hit a three and they started chanting, he's a sophomore. It's winning soccer in um, the state championship in 2019. Any of all of my show choir shows? By far is uh, my sophomore year, we made it to the, the championships for football. By far been drum major senior year. My favorite Broward memory was 10th grade going to state championship. Sophomore year on the tennis team. Probably when I convinced Mr. Batista to um, help me stick Marge's trophy in Jello. Probably this football season. In junior year, the girls cross country team placed state runner up. Uh, the Ramsey game this year. Probably any football game, especially when we're seniors and we got to be on the first row. Uh, St. Clair County game was definitely my favorite game. Mine was probably when Coach Renfro got a baseball bat, waved it around like this, and then beat a snake to death is Belize last year on the mission trip. Probably last year during a uh, state at tennis. Senior year Bibb County was my favorite sports moment. My favorite Broward moment was senior night when we played Ramsey. Mine was senior homecoming game. Mine was junior prom. My favorite memories have definitely come from just any football season and cheering on the football team. Was when we won state in soccer last year. To be this year and um, the senior versus junior powder puff game. Sophomore year uh, state championship game, just surreal experience. When the football team beat Ramsey. Probably had to be the uh, Billy Joel review. My first day of kindergarten when my brother walked me to the classroom for the first time. When we beat Ramsey, that was uh, the greatest game I've ever experienced. Either football beat Ramsey or when um, volleyball beat John Carroll. Coming second at cross country state my junior year. Was senior night, senior year, when we beat Ramsey by one point. That was just so much fun. But probably my favorite moment was the time when we came together for Coach Peterson. I just never felt a bond like that before. It's Radica Show Choir or Worship Leadership or Chapels or the plays and musicals. In Opelika when um, the show choir, we swept, we won everything. The John Carroll volleyball game. I loved watching Mary Snyder get to be Crowned homecoming queen. Was when we blocked the field goal to complete the comeback and beat Ramsey. What's your favorite school lunch? Marco's pizza. No, oh, I was just brought my lunch, so it's a little ham sandwich. Just Chick fil A, hands down. Taco salad. Chick fil A day. The cinnamon rolls. Chick fil A Mondays or Pizza Wednesdays? Which is Pizza Wednesdays because there's cookies. Uh, chicken and rice. Definitely Chick-fil-A on Monday. It's definitely pizza day. Pizza Wednesday. The best school lunch is Chick-fil-A, for sure. Pizza and cookies. Um, I always love Tzatziki's day. Chick-fil-A day. Chick-fil-A day. It's not even close. Definitely Marco's pizza. Chick-fil-A sandwiches. You gotta remember, the cafeterias, hamburger steak and mashed potatoes. Friday special. <laughs> Either Chick-fil-A or when we had Tzatziki's Friday special. Chick-fil-A or Papa John's pizza. The barbecue sandwiches, they flap. Chick-fil-A. Wednesday cookies. Probably the pizza and the cookies. Definitely the pizza and cookies. The pizza and cookie day. The ones that I packed because I'm allergic to everything and never ate in the lunchroom. Describe your Broward experience in three words. Enjoyable, challenging, and unforgettable. Fun, memorable, and very interesting. Or crazy, fun, and unforgettable. Unforgettable, fun, and impactful. Must see moments. Exciting, interesting, and challenging. It's encouraging, community, and life giving. Abundant, joyful, and fun. Memorable, challenging, but incredible. It's as memorable, spiritual growth, and invested. Beneficial, uplifting, and good. Fast. Formative. And then the last last word would be probably friendships. Finger looking good. Dressful, chaotic, and fun. Lots of fun. Unforgettable, fun, and challenging. Best school ever. Jesus, smart, and football. I'd have to say ephemeral, immutable, and punctilious. Just an adventure. It was incredible and it was really memorable. Laughter, unexpected, insightful, demanding, emotional, and uh, certainly unforgettable. Transformative and shaping. Um, 
um, the best -ist. Spontaneous, fun, and sentimental. Are memorable, a blessing, and growth. Challenging, but rewarding and memorable. It was really fun. I felt very blessed and I felt very cared for. Life-changing, um, exciting, and unique. The thing that I will miss most about Briarwood is the passion that the teachers and administrators had every day. Um, no matter what, whether it was sports or education, to just help us get better, even if our attitudes were bad or even if we didn't want to. It's just the push and the drive was always there, and that's something I'll miss very dearly. I'm going to miss being able to watch sports with my friends. Football games and all of the great teachers we had. It's my amazing teachers and my friends who have had a huge impact on my life. It is our school's team spirit. It is everyone that I've gotten to know is probably the people that made it so special. The little things that I look forward to every day, like seeing Mr. Emanuel in the hallway and giving him a high five. Getting to see all of my friends every day. I love you guys. I will miss my best friends. I don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Motivations with Miss Mary and office aid with Miss Smith and Miss Mears. Uh, I gotta say the people. Is probably seeing the entire senior class in one building. Just my friends. I'm gonna miss um, Chuck Wire is the small knit community and the involvement of the teachers in each of our lives. Uh, the second floor commons. Teachers and how supportive they are, as well as the relationships and friendships I made. Is the crazy, unpredictable excitement that came every day during school. Definitely all the people. It is the Christian community and the people that I've been growing up with the past 14 years. Friends. Show choir. Art class with Miss Youngblood. The people of the most. Classmates for sure. Football games and soccer games. Going to the uh, football games every fall. Just all of our talent shows. Probably everyone and all the teachers. So. Yes, I'm gonna miss just the community. Getting to see my friends every day. It'll be Bible classes, expanding my knowledge upon the Bible and God's word. I'm gonna miss the people the most, definitely. Mr. Woman's Gap Group. Hey, Mr. Woman. Me too. Not getting to see my best friends every single day. The community and my friends. I'm gonna miss the friendships I've made. I'm gonna miss football games. <laughs> I'm gonna miss the student section. To be all the friends I've made. Football season and being in the student section. My soccer team the most. The amazing culture around it. Football games and just all the fun nights that we had here. The awesome teachers there. Definitely the bonds I made, the family I made. Probably football games. I'm gonna miss seeing all my friends at lunch and football games. Teachers and students. I will definitely be missing my friends the most. Strong Christian men and women in my life. Um, the teachers and the friends that I've made at Briarwood. I couldn't have survived high school without my best friends. All my friends and the love and support from all my teachers. My friends and football games. The boys. Without all of my amazing friends. Without my friends. Without my friends. Friends and all of our fun memories. Sweatshirts. This this school is freezing all the time. Full footwork for show choir. I left high school without music. It's got me through my best times and my worst times. Definitely miss Paco. Without junior year video production and then my friends. And being on the soccer team. Without show choir. It's periodic of show choir and all the best friends that I've made to there. Nine o'clock starts on Thursdays. You know, Chipper, Clayton, Abner, and John. Alyssa Davidson and Sally Worthington. Um, this is my clipboard. Quizlet. Good without Chick-fil-A. Napping. Miss Hudson's candy bowl. Lunch. Lots of snack breaks in between. High school without my friends. Without my friends and my youth group. Photo math and the dude who made the copy paste button. Quizlet. Yes. Without my friends. Photo math. My football team. Without my friends, for sure. Spark Notes, Cliff Notes, Schmoop, and Wikipedia. School without my friends. School without JB Gang. All of my friends. And community getting me through it, so. School without late start. Would be my friends and my family. Without lunchtime. Friends who gave me biblical guidance. Without my friends that I've made over the years. Without my friends and show choir. Coffee and Khan Academy. Without going to Chick-fil-A. Matthew Ernest. 
Hey class of 2020, just wanted y'all to know that y'all have influenced my life in so many ways and I'm so glad that we got to grow up together and make all the memories together. I can't wait to see what the Lord does with each of you in college and I'm praying for each of you and I love each of you with my whole heart. Let me know if y'all need anything. Bye. I love all you guys. Spent 12 years with most of y'all. Um, I'm gonna miss y'all and it, it sucks that it had to end the way it did. I wish it could have gone differently, but love you guys. My senior class, it was fun, full of ups and downs, but overall it was pretty fun. I uh, wish I could have seen you guys one more time. We had a lot of momentum going up until the quarantine, and uh, if this year didn't get cut short, it would have been the best yet. Thank you. When I came in here in ninth grade, you made me feel like I was accepted, and even though y'all have been going here since uh, kindergarten, it made me feel like I was part of the family all along. I want to say to the lunch ladies, thank you for the hamburger steak and mashed potatoes. They were always delicious. Thank you guys so much for the past five years. Uh, all, the, all the memories, all the friends that I've made, all the things that I've done uh, would not have been at all possible, obviously, without you guys. So that's just like, I'm like forever grateful for how great these past four years have been because of you all. Hey y'all, it's Matthew Ernest. I just wanted to thank all of you for the great past 12 years and for making a huge impact on my life. Uh, I just wanted to let y'all know that I wish the best for each and every one of you. And I hope that we can all meet each other again at the reunion, if not sooner. Hey seniors, I just want to say thank you for all of the friendships and the memories I've made since kindergarten. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I can't wait to see what the Lord does in all of your lives, in college and out of college. I'm gonna miss you all. I love y'all. Hey, class of 2020. I just wanna say it's been an honor to get to know you guys. I love you all bunches and I will miss you all so, so much. I can't wait to see where life takes us. And even though this isn't how we wanted things to end, I'm so grateful for every single moment. Thanks. Hey y'all, it's Connor and uh, I just want to thank you guys for an unbelievable four years at the school. I wouldn't trade the memories I've made here for anything in the world. And guys, I uh, wish you the best of luck in your next adventure. And I look forward to keeping in touch with all of you. I'll see you. Hey class of 2020, I can't believe that this year has ended as abruptly as it has, but um, and that these years are over with us at Briarwood, but um, I love y'all and I know God has great things in store for everyone. Hey, I wanted to say thank you for being such a great class. I loved walking through this chapter of life with y'all. I'm gonna miss y'all so much, but this is a really special class and I can't wait to see where life takes us and what God has in store for us. I'll always be proud to be a part of the class of 2020 and to be a lion. Hey, class of 2020. I really wish that we could all be together right now and it's making me really thankful for all the amazing memories that I've made over the past 10 years with y'all. and. I really hope that we get to see each other graduation day. And I just wanna tell y'all to look forward to the next four years because they're gonna be the best ones yet. And I really can't wait to see where everybody goes in life. 10 out. Well said. Daddy out. Class of 2020, thank you for everything that you have done. Thank you for the memories and the relationships that we've built. And I, I want to thank each and every one of you because you all had your part in making it special. So thank you. Hey y'all, we did it. We're finally graduating. I cannot think of a better class to be graduating with. I'm so thankful for each and every one of y'all and I love y'all so much. I can't wait to see what y'all do. I know you are all going to be well changers. Love y'all. Hey seniors. So I just want to say how much I love all of y'all and I'm so thankful to have done life with y'all for the past 13 years. And um, y'all have meant the world to me and the memories that we've all made will forever be with me. And I only can hope that I'll see y'all all one day again. Hey y'all, just wanted to say that I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. And it has been great to see some of y'all that have been there since K4 and K5 grown up to be a wonderful men and women and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for all of y'all and I love y'all so much. Hey guys, I just want all of y'all to know that I truly cannot be more grateful to have a senior class like y'all. I have so many memories with each and every one of y'all and they just flood my head all the time because I miss y'all so much. Just want you to know that I love you and that y'all are going to be great at whatever you do in life and hopefully I get to see you one day. Thank you for being around and being awesome and keep it up. Y'all are great. 
uh, dear senior class, I uh, I don't really know what to say. I just I thank y'all for all the memories and the the great times that, that we've shared throughout uh, our not only high school but elementary and junior high um, careers. I wish you nothing but the best, um, as I know that you all will do. Uh, good luck at all the colleges that everyone's going to, whether it be for sports or just to go to college and just thrive. Uh, I miss you guys. Bye. Hey, seniors, I just wanted to let y'all know that y'all are such a great class, and I had so many memories with all y'all that I'll never forget. And I, uh, I can't wait to see what we'll be doing when we go to college and meet after college and meet in our 10-year uh, reunion. Bye, guys. Class of 2020, I am really going to miss each of y'all, and I'm really thankful for the friendships and relationships I've made. And I wish we were ending the year on different circumstances, but I wish all of you the best and pray for y'all's future. And I hope that we can all cross paths again one day. I just wanted to say thank you to the Terrace New Class and everyone at Briarwood for just making me feel welcome. I was, I kind of came to Briarwood at like a later year. I came in my junior year, but everyone at Briarwood just made me feel welcome. And I really appreciated that. Hey class of 2020, I just wanted to say thank you so much for the past 12 years. I've known most of y'all my whole life and I wouldn't be the person I am today without each and every one of y'all and I'm gonna miss our class so much. Dear seniors, I just wanna say I've had a great time doing school with all of you and I'm gonna miss all of you next year. We've made some great unforgettable moments together and I can't wait for when we can see each other again. Hey y'all, I just wanted to thank everyone in our class for the past 13 years. You guys have really shaped me into the person I am now and I appreciate all the friendships and memories I've made. So, go Lions. My message to y'all is I hope I see y'all sometime in Auburn next year. More Eagle. Hey guys, I just wanna say I miss you guys and I love you guys. And it's crazy to me to think that I got a chance to spend more than half my life with a group of people as awesome as you. I can't thank you enough for the impact that you've had on my life. My message to you, let you be not to be afraid to be different and be unique. Can't wait to see you guys change the world. God bless you all. Class of 2020, I wish you the best of luck and roll Todd. Hey everyone, I just wanna say thank y'all so much for the best time at Briarwood. I'm so thankful for y'all, I love y'all. I'm gonna miss y'all so much and I'm so glad that I got to go through Briarwood with a class like you and I'll never forget y'all. Senior class, I've uh, grown up with you my whole life and y'all have made me who I am today. So um, I just wanna say thank you. And um, I love you and I wish y'all the best um, in this next phase of life. To the class of 2020, um, I just, I can't wait to see what God's gonna do with each and every one of y'all. And I just wanna say thank you for being a part of my Briarwood experience and it wouldn't be the same without anybody and um i really just can't wait to see the amazing things y'all all do and i'm gonna miss everybody so much <laughs> um to the senior class thank you for the best high school experience i wish you all the best and it's great to be a bride with mine and roll tide class of 2020 congrats guys we made it roll tide Dear class of 2020, thank y'all so much for the great memories and the great friendships that I got to make. And I hate the way that this school year ended, but the time that we did have together this year was the best and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And I'm gonna miss all you guys so much. Dear senior class, I wanna thank you for a great time. I wanna thank you for the bonds we've made. I wanna thank you for the memories we've made. I also wanna thank you for the family we've made. I love y'all all and I'm gonna miss y'all. Hey senior class, I just wanted to tell you I love and I miss you. I miss your faces in the hallways. I miss our classes together. Um, and I just miss being with y'all at school. You know, someday when my future kids are opening up my old yearbooks and they see all your faces, I will have a fun memory to share with them of each of you. And I know that I won't get to see a lot of you before you graduate um, and before you go off to college. So I just wanted to tell you that I hope you have the best life and that you thrive in college and that you follow God's will for you. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to say that I'm gonna miss you guys so much. I can't believe that we're actually here and I know that this isn't by any means the type of senior year that we expected to have, but um, I'm really proud of everyone for making the most of it and I love y'all and I'm gonna miss you. 
Hey class of 2020, um, I just wanted to thank y'all for 14 amazing years of my life. Um, I know I've known some of y'all for all 14, but some for less, and I just wanted to thank y'all for those amazing years. But also I wanted to let y'all know that I am praying for you guys as you go into college and the rest of your lives um, for guidance and discernment and um, that you will just develop a stronger love for the Lord. Dear senior class, thank you guys for all the great memories we've shared. Thank you for all for being great friends throughout the years. I'm gonna miss you guys. Um, I hope life takes you in the right places and I pray that it does. Um, I just wanna say that I've loved getting to know all of y'all really close and I'm gonna miss y'all next year. Hey guys, it's crazy that we're about to graduate, especially in this kind of condition, but um, I've loved every single one of y'all. Y'all made my high school so great. Um, the moments we've had together are incredible. Um, I hope that y'all Go on to do great things, and I love y'all. Hey guys, uh, first off, just thank you for putting up with um, all of my growing pains over the years. Uh, I'm sure it wasn't easy at times. Um, you know, one of if I could leave, you know, you guys with one last little thing, I would I would just say definitely, you know, stay true to yourself and seek God. You know, as cheesy as those two things sound, you know, I feel like they're really really important um, for success in any area and. Stay in touch, you know, if you need anything, just let me know. Hey class of 2020, I just want to say I really, really love y'all. And if y'all see me next year, whether that's on campus or in the store, I'm hoping that y'all say hey, not run away, and we'll just be able to um, catch up and I want to see how you're doing. And um, I'm praying for each and every one of y'all, and I know that um, God has great things in store for our class, and um, I'm praying for y'all. I love y'all so much. Hey y'all, it has been such a joy to get to know each of you over the years and I am just so thankful for every single one of you and I hope you all know that I love you dearly and I am so proud to have been a part of the class of 2020. Hey guys, I can't believe we're finally at this moment. It's been a crazy, long, incredible journey but I can't wait to see how God uses each and every one of you in the future and you're going to do absolutely amazing things. I love you guys so much and I'm really going to miss you. I am and will always be very grateful for this senior class. I wish I got to experience all the normal high school events with y'all, but I know that all of y'all have a gift and I can't wait to see what y'all accomplish in the future. I love y'all. I'm going to miss y'all. We've practically grown up together for most of our lives, so it's going to be weird without having y'all around next year, but I wish y'all the best. Hey y'all, thanks for the past four years. These have been so much fun and I can't wait for what the future holds for all of you. I'll miss y'all, thank you. Hey guys, I can't believe we're already making these videos, but I'm so thankful for each one of you guys and how we've grown together over the years. I can't wait to see what the future holds for each of you. And I know that our class of 2020 is gonna be world changers. To the senior class of 2020, thank y'all for having an amazing impact on my life. I am so incredibly thankful to have done life with y'all all these years. God has got good plans for each one of you. I love y'all. Although this school year hadn't ended like we had hoped, I hope this experience will make us stronger. I love y'all and I appreciate all of you and all you have done to make my Broward experience truly special. To my senior class, I know it sucks that we're ending our senior year quarantine. We've made so many great memories from football games to high school dances, and I've loved growing up and getting to know every single one of you. I'm gonna miss you all so much next year but I know we're all so ready for college and what the future has in store. So I love y'all and go Lions. Hey y'all, it's been such a joy and a blessing to get to know everybody and to be able to do life with you guys. And I love y'all so much. And it's my prayer that as we get ready to go our separate ways that you would stand firm in your faith and that you would remember to let the light of Jesus shine through you. To the seniors, I just wanna say thank you for being by my side for the past 12 years. Y'all have impacted me in ways you could ever, never even know. And it, it's going to be weird not seeing everyone's faces every day next year, but I'm so excited for what God has in store for us for the next few years. To my seniors, I really hope I could see you guys one last time, but I just hope that the Lord uses each and every one of you and use your gifts to glorify Him no matter what field you're working in, no matter what you're doing for the rest of your life. You work to honor um, our God.